Donny Okupe was broke when he joined Obi's campaign, a stole 100 million Naira Party fund. Ogun Labour Party. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The Gusek chapter of the Labour Party recently expelled Mr. Kupe over allegations of misappropriation, misappropriation and diversion of party fund. The Labour Party in Ogun State insists that expelled member Doni Okukwe was financially handicapped before joining P2B presidential campaign Council PCC. Party executive Mark Alashadi and Abayami Arabambi claimed on Saturday that Mr. Okukwe went on to steal 100 million naira campaign funds after joining the PCC. Mr. Ashari, the state party chairman, said they were leveling charges of financial impropriety against Mr. Okukwe, who still who until his expulsion served as the PCC Director General. Mr. Araba and B said Mr. Kukwe initially lobbied to be, to be made the state party chairman on the basis of using the position to raise money for Mr. B's presidential campaign. He came to ask us at the initial stage that we should give him the state chairman so that he would be able to mobilize funds for the party, as that Mr. Araba and B, Ugu State Labour Party spokesperson, on a rise TV Saturday morning. In response to questions about whether Mr. Kukwe had actually given the Labour Party 4 million naira, Mr. Arabambe revealed that the expelled member who always complained about Mr. Obi's tight-fisted nature said he also had no money to contribute to the party. Let us be very categorical here. Mr. Kukwe does not have any 4 million naira to spend on Labour Party, said the Ogun State Party spokesperson. He challenged Mr. Kukwe to come here to tell us how much he gave to the 24 members of the state executive. He complained about Mr. B. It was on, re on the record that he doesn't give him money, so he has no money to give. The state spokesperson further disclosed that Mr. Kukwe had not given the party a cobble in the past seven months. He has not committed his cobble to the party for seven months. It was when he started campaigning for P2B that he came to us to say that he has some money to spend into the Labour Party, the spokesperson said. Mr. Kukwe did not immediately respond to calls and messages of inquiring, taking comments on the matter. Well, uh, it is bound to happen. It is even bound to happen this one that it is, um, what's it called? This one that it is um, a new party. But my issue with them is why bring your dirty learning to the public to watch? That is my problem. I don't have a pro. I don't, I'm not of the opinion that this, this should not have happened. Though. It's in a money matter. Problem was they. These are people who they don't know themselves before. Nothing bring them together. All of a sudden, they started working together. So there's going to be conflict of interest. There's going to be con conflict of which thing I won't do and which thing I no won't do. That's when it's very certain. Hmm? That's when it's very certain. So instead of coming out to watch, why not deal with your matter indoors? Why go on national TV to say, you know, that is my own opinion here. That is my own opinion. Yes, the must have not happened, yes, but you try and you know deal with it within the party. We don't believe any news from a good state Labour Party chapter. They are showing symptoms of PDA PC. Why are people being like this? If Okwe had wanted money, he would have joined PDP or APC where the money is in excess. The most in the Labour Party Ogun will never succeed. Very soon they will get frustrated and get out of a party. Because me, I know Mr. Doyok will have been a very good a very strong supporter of P2B, even from the beginning when not in day. That is why I'm saying Huh. Make Labour Party, I've said it before, you don't just accept anybody into Labour Party. I have been of the opinion that even though Labour Party is a small party, yes, they need hands, they need more hands, and they also need more finances. But this should not make them to accept anybody. It should not be a come as you are church. You, there's, there's some people who do this come as you are. If you understand what I mean. Come as you are church, the church will be saved, even if you dress like him, even if your dress is skimpy, you come to the church like that. No, not be so. If your intentions are not good, they test your intentions, you know, and you're not okay. No, you don't have any business, you should not be in Labour Party. That is what I, I suggested before. Yes, people will say, eh, this one will say Labour Party, they should like it. It should be, it is better if it, it is done like that, Seth. Dio Kuku is not contesting on any election. Focus on the candidate. Okay. It is time of politics where politicians followed more than one another, digging deep to honest scandals on themselves. More and more are to come from different sides of the political divide. Some true, some salacious tales by moonlight. Well, 
I'm of the opinion that this one is not even concerning the presidential candidate himself. Do you understand? He's not concerning the presidential candidate himself, so this is not the news you want to hear. But if you know that this man is from the old brigade, he's one of the enemies of Nigeria, and Nigeria knows that. Hmm. Okay, Tuniba and his boys struggling to drag from background. Tuniba have been looting Lagos State Treasury since 1999, and still people are singing praises of him. Oga, now money they rule this country. Money. If you want things to be done, get give bring money out. People will not even care to ask you where the money comes from. APC footprint. When you see, you know what they have been doing to keep. Keep Nigeria underdeveloped. Look at poverty everywhere in Nigeria. He sold some of his inheritance too. He was truly broke. Some legacy property in Lagos were sold by him to pay some of his debt. Okay. When they said the best way to hide vital information for a black man is to hide it in the book, now now I understand. I don't know. No. So it's no longer he didn't pay his dues. And I shame the shame. Exactly. If you people, this thing is very difficult for me to believe because Don Yohupo was with P2B even when there was zero Nera, zero copper. Nigerians, we could not use our hand to do this thing to ourselves. So, Labour Party may not take my advice. Don't accept anybody like that. Drill them, ask them questions. What is their reason for coming to join you people? I'm telling you, if the question, if they're not irritated by the question, let me say they're not going to fit stay. Okupoi, this is one of the youth. I pity those younger elements supporting Obi. They are tissue papers to be used and dumped. Thank God Obi is running to nowhere. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we know the game. We know the game plan. Who is broke? The question should be Labour Party. Do Labour Party have up to 100 million before P2B joined? Okay. P2B can make people exhibit madness publicly and still look like normal human beings. No be I devote not doing your copy so you can <laughs> oh my goodness. My own is um you know the accusations, some of the accusations here, I don't like it. Do your copy should they should not do this to him. Most especially. This is not it's not right. And me, I'm even of the opinion, instead of you coming out to worship with Dennis Desi Lenin in public, why don't you call um what's it called? Why don't you people watch do this in house? To me, this is a show of shame, and this is not fair. If Doe is, is is innocent, this is actually a show of shame. It should not be encouraged, because I know Doe Yekubwe was one of the people that stood behind Peter B, you know, when he came out initially. All right, and in this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.